Hello, how are you today? My name is Emmy, and today I want to talk to you about all of the series that I've read this year. Some of them I have completed, finished it, done with it. Some of them I may have DNF'd or maybe I'm considering getting back into it, but I just wanted to share this with you. I don't know. I, I read quite a few and now here I am talking to you about it. Okay, first and foremost, let's just get this out of the way and start with at Qatar. We all know, I think, if you have watched one or two other videos on this channel, you would know that I really love this series. This is like the first fantasy. Actually, no, that's a lie. This isn't the first fantasy series that I've read, but this is the first fantasy. This is the first fantasy series that I've fallen in love with, that I'm getting so excited that I can't speak. If you don't know by now, at Qatar is by Sarah J. Moss, and this is a story about a human person living amongst the Fae land or the fairy land, and we just follow her through her journey with being a human person in the Fae, in the fairy world. I can't say much because I there's really no justice in me trying to explain what the first book is like because the story develops and develops and it just grows into this wonderful mastercraft that you're just gonna have to read for yourself if you haven't already. So we're just gonna glaze through my love for this and move on to the next one. Five stars by the way. Next one, it is a series, but a duology series. And this is going to be a Psalm for the Wild Bill. And then the other one is a Prayer for the Crown Shy. I've also spoke about this in my mid-year review, which I will link for you right here, here. This is a really cute, quick literary fiction read. And it is about finding yourself in the journey of seeking for more. It is about learning more from other people who don't have what you have and vice versa. It has those themes of there's so much more out there for me. And then when you finally get to that destination, you're like, this is it. And it takes you through why we think like that. Great series, very easy read. I would say that's a four star read. Next is the Bridgerton series. This I have not finished and I did read another book. I think, was it on my Kindle? I'm pretty sure it was on my Kindle. Which one is this? Okay, this is the Duke, the Viscount. This is, what's his name? What's the son with the B? What's the son with the B name? Benedict. This one's Benedict's book. Okay, the one that I read on Kindle is Penelope's book. I really love the Netflix show Bridgerton. Love it. I think it's great that I was like, I need to read the books because if Netflix portrayed it to be such a great show and I was intrigued the whole time and I was enamored by the social scene of the 1800s, I wanted to read it. I stopped on Penelope's book. No offense to my girl Penelope, I think they did her dirty. That's all I'm gonna say. In the book, the way they portrayed Collins is, oh, man, he was not my favorite Bridgerton guy, according to the books. I do think, you know, there was a lot of potential with the best friends to lovers trope. And I don't know if I'm gonna continue this series. The first three books I think were great though. Let me know, let me know what you think if you've read the Bridgerton series and what you thought when you got to Penelope and Collins' book. Maybe it's just me. Now the next books that I will be mentioning will be books that I read off of my Kindle. So I won't be able to show you a physical copy, but you will see them here on either side of my face. The next one is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is a young adult fantasy fiction that is a three-part series, I believe. I think so. I already forgot. I feel like this is so long ago. But regardless, I really enjoyed this book because of the female main character that we are following here, which is Jude. She is a human female main character that is living amongst people who are not human. People who are not human are people who are not human people? She's living in a fae land because her stepfather, who is a fae, basically snatched her up from her human world and now she's living with him. Takes you through her journey with trying to prove herself, trying to earn her right, her worth in this world as a human being. It's just great seeing her character develop and just her growing into her own. So I really recommend this book. I rated it four stars, but that's because selfishly speaking me being me 
if it wasn't a young adult fantasy fiction you'll see that there's like um some kind of tension and chemistry between her and another character in the series and i would have loved to see that play out if it wasn't young adult that's just me though i still really recommend it and enjoyed the book the next one is shatter me by tahiri mafi this is oh my gosh i don't even remember how many books there are in this series but Shatter Me is a young adult dystopian fiction and this one is what did I think about this book again? Oh, I remember thinking that in the beginning of this series, the very first book, I was like, there is absolutely no way that I'm going to be following along with this author's type of writing. Yeah, I just remember thinking on the first book of the Shatter Me series, she is very expressive in a fluffy, metaphorical, like the way that I would describe Tahira Mafi's writing in the first book, maybe even the second book, is how fluffy Amber Heard's description was of her expressing her love for Johnny Depp during their trial. <laughs> how did Johnny Depp get into this but that's how I would describe it it's a very like let me let me try and find a line okay I found some reviews on Goodreads that perfectly depicts what I was thinking when I was reading some of the lines from this author he says it with a small smile the size of Jupiter I catch the rose petals as they fall from my cheeks as they float around the frame of my body as they cover me in something that feels like the absence of courage the author that wrote Milk and Honey. I don't know if you've ever seen those videos of her reading her poems out loud, but when I read Tahira Mafi, like some of her lines in this book, I hear her voice. That's, that's what I think about. But regardless of how the author wrote, that kind of dies down throughout the series. And, you know, the story gets to a point where you learn to appreciate it because there's a lot of action that happen although at the very end of the series i was like not underwhelmed but it just felt a little bit rushed it was just like a lot happening all at once maybe i was just like talking shit so much like throughout reading that last book that i just couldn't find myself enjoying it Next is I read another duology this time. It was in my recent video, Reading Thrillers Only. I will link that here. And that is by Frieda McFadden. This series is like one of the first books that got me into reading thrillers that kind of kickstarted my, my interest in reading thrillers because of what I've seen on TikTok. People just kept talking and talking and talking about this book or these two books that I was like, okay, what is the hype about this book? So I read it. I'll admit the first book I was like, ooh, this is a good one. The concept of, you know, a housemaid cleaning a really suspicious client's house and being a live-in housemaid is, is clearly not something I've read before. I'm pretty sure that there, this is a plot that's been done in the past, but I found it really interesting. So I picked up the second book, The Housemaid's Secret, and it just like kind of fell flat for me, that one. But overall, I, I gave the first book four stars and I think I gave the second book like three stars. The female main character in both books, she just, she changed. She changed. She wasn't the one that I was rooting for anymore. Now, lastly, um, this is a book series that I did start and I don't even know if I should be including it in this video because I'm still on the first one and I haven't found, it's not that I haven't found the time, it's like I haven't been in the mood to read the second one. I really feel like I've just been in such a jumbled headspace for me to to embark onto continuing the series into the second book. But I read the first book in the Salacious Players Club series, the book Praise by Sarah Kate. I love this book. I've spoken about it before. This is a dark romance book that features our female main character's ex-boyfriend's dad. Wait, the female main character's ex-boyfriend's hot dad. <laughs> Not all of our exes have hot dads, so 
Let me just clarify that. I know that I definitely want to continue this series, so that's why I mentioned it. Yeah, it's a really, really steamy book and I would recommend you consider reading it if you are into dark romance. I also have another video where I talk about only dark romance and spicy books that I've read in the past, and you can find that linked up here also. But today, these are just the books that I've read so far, or the book series that I've read so far and or started. I did just purchase Throne of Glass. I am so excited to continue on this SJM train and embark on the rest of her other series. I know that this is going to be quite a commitment for me, so let me know if this is a video that you'd be interested in seeing. Me, you know, bringing you along the experience of reading Throne of Glass, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I think that this video is gonna be like really quick because I thought that there was a lot that I read, but I guess not. Let me know if you agree with anything that I said. Let me know if you disagree with anything that I've said. I'd love to discuss it with you because we all have our own opinions and maybe I was looking at something wrong. Maybe I didn't appreciate it the same way that you appreciated some of these books that I spoke about. Thank you so much for your time in joining me today. Again, my name is Emmy. I hope you have a great rest of the day or evening and please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel because I would love to see you again soon. Thank you so much and bye!